Jamie Lee Curtis, who has been making the rounds at movie awards events as part of the cast of a 24 s Everything Everywhere All at Once, said Friday that she has COVID. It means she must miss several planned stops on the circuit, including today's AFI Awards luncheon and Sunday's Critics' Choice Awards. Curtis on Tuesday attended the Golden Globes, where she was nominated for a Supporting Actress Prize. She's up for a similar honor Sunday at the Critics' Choice Awards after this week being nommed by the SAG Awards, her first NO in there since 1995's True Lies. Sadly, this head cheerleader is not going to be at all the weekend festivities cheering on her friends and colleagues. Life on Life's Terms, Curtis wrote today on Instagram, showing a pic of three at-home COVID tests and those double lines. I'm glad that there are all these home tests available so that I didn't go to the at American Phil Sinti lunch and spread my germs. I was so looking forward to going to the at BAFTA tea and the at Critic Soas Awards as a nominee and member of a motley crew. I'm so proud of these people and I look forward to cheering them on through my TV set. Stay safe out there, people. The honors for Curtis and the Phil will likely continue to come in next week, starting when BAFTA announces its NOMS January 20th. Oscar nominations are January 24th. At the Globes, Everything Everywhere won in two of the six categories in which it was nominated in the musical comedy field. Ki Hu Chuan for Supporting Actor and Michelle Yeo for Lead Actress. The pick directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Skynet was already named an AFI Top 10 film and is being FET'd at the Institute's well-attended luncheon today. It's up for leading 14 awards at Sunday's Critics' Choice Awards. The annual awards season, invite-only BAFTA Tea Party is Saturday at the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills.